Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about the next updates we're waiting on iOS 18 developer beta 5 and public beta 3. Now, keep in mind that Apple is currently testing two different versions of iOS 18, and they're testing iOS 18.0 and iOS 18.1. Now, today we're going to focus on 18.0, which is the beta that most users updated to with iOS 18. 18.1 is basically only available for iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max. So when it's the next update, what are some of the issues? In today's video, I wanted to talk about a few things you should know right before the next updates, a few bugs, a few issues in regards to battery and keyboard. So the first thing I want to talk about is a quick update on Apple's end. So if we go into the wallet application on our iPhone, so let's jump into the wallet application right here. And you go to add a new driver's license. Apple has added one more state. So the one more state that we have now available, the fifth state is Ohio. So Apple has now added Ohio. So if you live in that state, you can now have your digital wallet ID as you can see right there. So yeah, this has been one of those features that's been a very slow rollout. Apple basically announced this a few years back in 2021 at WWDC, but the feature obviously is something that Apple needs to work together with local state government agencies in order to get it up and running. So right now, only five states so far a few years later. So hopefully Apple will continue to add more states as time goes by. But again, this is something available for everyone. It doesn't have anything to do specifically with iOS 18. So if you're running iOS 17, iOS 18 or 18.1, you can go into the wallet application if you live in Ohio and you can just have your ID now it's a digital version in the wallet application alongside the additional other four states now let's talk about iOS 18 developer beta 4 and public beta 2 which are the current betas out right now I wanted to talk about a few bugs and issues currently happen with these betas number one for those of you who are currently having issues with RCS here in the US you're not alone RCS has been spotty uh, here and there with iOS 18 and I have to say I've experienced issues with RCS RCS in different carriers here in the studio. My best device right now in terms of support and stability for RCS is T-Mobile here in the studio. But RCS for other carriers like AT&T and Verizon here in the studio, I'm having issues with. Sometimes it sends messages as SMS and it switches back and forth, okay? So just keep in mind that this is a feature that's slowly rolling out and obviously Apple and your carrier have to work together in order to get this one working properly. But there's still some issues with RCS so if you're having issues, you're not alone again in beta 4 and public beta 2. Now, there's also, at least for me, some issues with the keyboard. I've had some keyboard lags, some keyboard issues. I'm not sure if you guys have encountered any keyboard lag or issues with your keyboard, even the keyboard disappearing at times uh, within the latest iOS 18 developer beta 4. But I have to say in regards to performance overall, when it comes to like animations and applications and launching, and just using the software overall, as I mentioned already, iOS 18 has been pretty solid, probably the best beta I've tested in the past several years in comparison to iOS 16 beta, iOS 17 beta, iOS 18 has done pretty, pretty well. Now, I also want to mention a small issue with Wi-Fi as well, because if you're having issues with random Wi-Fi disconnection, again, this is something that's a side effect of beta software. I'm having issues right now. Some users reported issues over on Reddit in regards to Wi-Fi connectivity and consistency. If you're having these issues, just know that you're not alone. But aside from that, basically, I have nothing else to mention in regards to issues aside from battery. Obviously, battery just isn't the same. This is something that's also a side effect of beta software. So if your battery life is not getting you through your entire day, this is part of beta testing, right? Because the battery life just isn't the best. I find myself charging in between. Like I want to say I charge in the morning and then I have to charge again uh, in the evenings in order to get through my entire day comfortably on iOS 18.1 beta and iOS 18.0 betas as well. So iOS 18.1 is not excluded. For those of you that don't know, 18.1 is now out, beta 1 that is, with Apple Intelligence. If you want to watch that video, I'll link it down below. But when can Apple or when should Apple release the next beta for iOS 18.0? Developer beta 5 and public beta 3. Well, if history is any indication, and I know I say that a lot, but this year has been kind of 
wild. Apple has released a lot of different days, different betas, but my best guess for iOS 18 developer beta 5 and public beta 3 are going to be this next upcoming week. So I usually want to go ahead and say that the next beta will be available this next upcoming week here, the week of the 5th of August. So if you are waiting for the next beta of the week of August right here, this is when we can expect iOS 18 developer beta 5 and public beta 3. Now, Apple will most likely not add any Apple intelligent features in the form of beta testing for 18.0. I think they're going to leave that only for 18.1 moving forward but I'm sure Apple will continue to add additional features and changes before the official release of iOS 18 mid to late September. And there you guys have it. I just wanted to share some details in regards to battery performance and everything else in between before the next updates. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.